Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here on WILK. 10, 18 in the morning. A gorgeous Saturday for you with some rain and cooler weather. Again, we uh, we skipped the season, went from summer right to winter, um, but uh, fall will be back. This will, it'll be a little a little fallish, I guess, uh, in the next couple of days as uh, as the rain maybe goes away. But uh, let's talk some uh, college volleyball. Rob Winger, the head coach there at Misericordia University for the women's program, uh, with us. And uh, Rob, good morning. Good morning, John. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, we appreciate you joining us and uh, a successful season thus far there at Misericordia. Uh, let's talk about how the ladies are playing. Yeah, things are um, things are going well. Uh, it's been it's been a great year for us. The girls have been working hard throughout the summer, during preseason, and obviously throughout the season so far. So it's been fun to see their uh, their hard work rewarded thus far. Let's talk about recruiting class, um, bringing in new ladies, and how many did you have to bring in this year? Um, we ended up with three freshmen on roster for our class. Uh, unfortunately, one of those freshmen. Ended up picking up a season-ending injury during the preseason, but uh, our two freshmen who are healthy uh, have been big contributors for us. Uh, Jessica Oldman is one of our starting middles uh, from Southern PA. She's done a great job bringing uh, bringing a new energy to our team, a lot of size, a lot of strong play at the net. And uh, she's actually a dual sport athlete with us here as well. She'll be playing softball in the spring. And our other freshman, Alexa Monroe, has really been pushing for the libero spot all year and has done a great job for us as a serving specialist and helped us close out some uh, some big matches this year. Uh, I know you and I had, had spoken uh, previously about uh, you being back here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Of course, your dad, uh, a long time. Uh, coach and uh, athletic director down at Wilkes University, you here at Misericordia University. What's it like being in northeastern Pennsylvania and, and being able to coach him? And you're a young fella, so uh, talk about uh, the energy you feel right now to, to be back home. It's been great being back home. You know, volleyball hasn't been the, uh, the most marquee sport here in the Valley, and it's been great having the opportunity to grow the game both on the men's and women's side. In, uh, in Northeastern PA through, uh, through the lens of Misericordia University. We've got a couple local kids on the roster for both the men and the women. And for local high school athletes to see kids from this area having success at the college level has helped, you know, drive up the participation, the level of athlete participating in volleyball. Um, and it's just been, it's been a true pleasure to help bring some of that passion to high school students in terms of the game of volleyball here. And we have had some successful high school uh, programs here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, including the one that you played at uh, there at Holy Redeemer. Uh, nonetheless, uh, right now, uh, we're looking to, to get a little bit better. So uh, I'm sure you're still trying to to, sit, to promote that part, whether it's in the junior high level or, or kids maybe 10, 11, 12 years old to maybe get out and play some real volleyball. Yeah, you know, it's been it's been great, like I said, to see the participation driving up. And we do a couple different things here to try and help with that. All of our home matches are free admission where we try to get kids from the community out to see. We do a couple different camps and clinics here over the summer, whether it be right here on Misericordia campus or the camp I run down at Holy Redeemer. Um, but it's such an emerging sport on both sides, and people have have started to see the difference that you know you can make as an athlete on the volleyball floor and how fun the game is so it's been it's been phenomenal to be a part of the growth of the sport here in this area we're talking with rob wingert from misericordia university as he said he is the head coach for the men and women's program and hey they got some volleyball to check out today it's a perfect day for volleyball rain a little cool uh, why not head up to misericordia university right yeah, we've got two matches at 12 and 4 p.m. Um, two teams from out of region, Farmingdale State out from Long Island and Eastern Connecticut State making the trip down 84 to come play. Uh, should be three really highly competitive matches. Ours at 12 and 4 and then one in the middle at 2 o'clock. Um, the girls have been working hard to prep this week with some other matches as well as our practice time. So we're excited to see the products we're going to put on the floor today. Rob Wingert, always a pleasure. Keep up the great work there, and uh, we're rooting for you this afternoon, okay? Thanks, John. I appreciate it. All right. Misericordia University Women's Volleyball. 
Uh, check them out, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock there uh, at the Anderson Center. So uh, a great opportunity for you if you're into uh, some volleyball or you just uh, want to get out and check out some great athletes here on the college level. When we come back, we're going to talk some high school football, the Valley View Cougars, the real deal. They are 8-0. and Got to see them last night take on Dallas. A pretty darn good football team. We'll talk with those guys coming up here on the John Mandola Show. Join us online. It is thejohnmandolashow.com. You can follow us on Twitter at John Mandola Show. Let's take a time out. Head out to our local State Farm insurance agent, Frank Zero Catch. Break like a good neighbor. Frank Zero Catch and Tunkanic is there. We'll be back on WILK.